Assalamualaikum and hello to all. Today we are going to study about chapter 4.2 theoretical yield and actual yield also percentage yield. Okay, learning outcome is what we are going to study today. We are going to proceed to two more things which is about theoretical and actual yield also percentage yield and we are going to do calculation. So theoretical yield, what is it? So theoretical. <clears throat> so this is the amount of product that would result if we calculate using the entire limiting reactant reacted. Okay, uh, the other explanation for this one is that it is the amount of product that you can get, the maximum of obtainable yield uh, predicted by the equation according to the number of mole of limiting reactant. So if you have that certain amount of limiting reactant, how maximum, what is the number of the maximum product that you get? Okay, actual yield. So actual yield is the amount of product you actually obtain. Okay, uh, so it means that let's say combustion, you uh, combust carbon and in the end it will become CO2. Uh, theoretically, uh, you get the idea on how much it will produce but in the end in an experiment or the actual process in industrial process you actually get less than that why because some carbon might be exposed to the air might uh, stick to the wall of the beaker when you are weighing it uh, so in the end your actual yield is usually lower than your theoretical yield and percentage yield Okay, percentage yield actually related with actual yield that you get from the experiment with theoretical yield that you get from the calculation. And the differences of this one, you multiply by 100%. Okay, shown by the formula, percentage yield equal to actual yield over theoretical yield times 100. Uh, so this is the formula that you need to remember. Okay, I will show you just one example. Uh. <clears throat> so let's consider this reaction. Uh, 3CCL4 reacted with 2SBF3, 3CCL4 producing 3CCL2F2 and 2SBCL3. So what is given for you in an experiment, 14.6 gram of SBF3, so it is referring to this one, was allowed to react in excess. Okay, so now we already know that this is the limiting reactant. We already know why we know that this one is limiting reactant. We know this is limiting reactant because CCL4 is excess. And this one is excess. If this one is excess, means you have a lot of it. Uh, but SBF3 is limiting reactant. Uh, at the end of the process, the limiting reactant will be fully consumed, but still you get excess CCL4 and then 8.62 gram of CCL2 F2 was obtained at the end of the experiment okay this is the product so this is the yield CCL F2 this one is product yeah SB CL3 also product yeah? so product so we want to know if you have this much amount of SB F3 how much theoretically you will produce CCL2 F2. Yield means produce. Eh? Okay, so you need to calculate this one. So for you to calculate, you need to find the stoichiometry, right? Okay, so from the stoichiometry, we are looking at this one, 2. So it means 2 mole of SBF3 will produce this one, CCL2 F2, because it will be related to this one. Uh, but do not use this number. Eh? This is the number that we get from experiment means that this is actual yield. Uh, this is actual yield. The data you get from experiment, from industrial process, that is actual. What we are looking for is theoretical. Theoretical is from calculation. Okay, so this one, 3 mole, CCL2, F2. Okay, now we want to know the mole. For you to find out the mole, you need to calculate. Uh, SB, F3, what is given? F3, sorry mass over mr okay mass that is given for you is 14.6 gram over 
molar mass okay, molar mass given so put it here 179 gram per mole and calculate this one you will get 0 0.082 mole and what is you are calculating the mole of SBF3 so now you know you get the amount of mole so this one you are going to put here okay so if you have 0 0.082 mole of SBF3 0 0.082 mole is equal to 14.6 eh? is equal to 14.6 eh? so how much mole of CCL2F2 that you will get uh, so this one as always cross product uh, 2 times x 2 times x equal to 3 times 0 0.082 3 times 0 0.082 okay this time i hope you i uh, push the calculator correctly eh? because last time my calculator does not register a button eh? Okay, so this one will become 0 0.123. 0 0.123 more. Okay, what are you calculating? You are calculating X. And what is X? Mole of CCL2. So you get C CCL2 F2. So what is the theoretical yield? The theoretical yield must be in mass. Yeah? Mass, mass means gram, kilogram. Uh, not in terms of mole. Huh? So you need to find out the number of mass for CCL2 F2 okay which you can calculate from number of mole times MR eh? so number of mole is this one so 0 0.123 mole times and MR where is MR already given if it is not given you need to calculate eh? 121 gram per mole so you calculate this you calculate this and you should get 14.883 gram and what is this number this is theoretical you yeah theoretical okay theoretical yield okay so that is the theoretical yield. so we have answered uh, the question a yeah we have answered the question a Okay, next, there is one more question for this one. What was the percentage yield? What is the percentage yield of CCL2F2? Okay, so percentage yield. Percentage yield. Uh, this one actually is easy. Easier than you think. So percentage yield can be calculated using this formula. Uh, actual, always remember this one. Uh, actual yield of... Uh, Theoretical yield. Theoretical yield times hundred. Okay, this is the formula from earlier, so you should remember it. So from the data earlier that we calculate, we already know what is theoretical yield, and actual yield is actually given. How do we know eight point six two is the actual yield? Because it is obtained at experiment. Huh? Remember, anything that we obtain from experiment is actual. Okay, remember that one so 8.62 gram over theoretical we have calculated earlier so 14.883 uh, you can also use two decimal point for this one eh? Eh, sorry times 100 so this one you should get 57.92 percent okay so this is the final answer for this question yeah 57.92%. This is the percentage yield. And usually, percentage yield is lower than 100. Okay? Lower than 100. Why is it lower than 100 uh, percentage yield? In experiment, there's a lot of errors can occur. Okay, for example, uh, the mass is not uh, weighed properly or the chemical does not react uh, 100%. Uh, so, in the end, what you get, the percentage yield usually lower than the theoretical yield uh, actual yield is lower than theoretical yield okay but let's say you calculate and you get this one more than 100% let's say 120% uh, this one it means that your answer is wrong lah. your answer is wrong uh, how can you get something 
uh, theoretically it's 100 and when you do actual you get more than 100 percent right uh, so so that that is not that is not correct uh, experimentally yeah uh, so make sure your calculation must be lower than 100 lower than 100 actually usually always lower than 100 please double check your answer and our answer here 57 is correct uh, because it is lower than 100 okay so that's it for today so try to answer a few questions about percentage yield theoretical yield actual yield and i hope you are good in this subject. That's it. Good luck. Bye.